As you guys can see, we're getting right into it. So, got to carve up some trout for this custom waterfall coffee table I built. These trout are carved from black walnut, started with some logs, chopped them down with the chainsaw, and now running them through the bandsaw to kind of rough them out. As you guys can see, just using a sharpie to kind of rough in those lines, get that shape of the fish a little bit closer, a little bit tighter to truer to size for, uh, for the trout. We'll run these back through the bandsaw and kind of clean them up, get them a little bit closer to the uh, size that I need. And this bandsaw isn't anything special, guys. This is like a $150 garage sale purchase. It's an older craftsman, but it gets the job done. So, I mean, if you're looking to do this stuff, really, you don't need anything crazy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm saving up. I hope to get a nicer bandsaw one day so I can do other things, but it gets the job done. So... Jumping ahead, I've already used an extra coarse disc, a coarse disc, a medium disc, and now I'm on to a really fine disc with my ArborTech Mini Carver. All those discs are from Sabretooth. They're a two inch disc. They're from Sabretooth.com. And I'm shaping the fish. We're rounding over the hard edges. We're smoothing it out. We're blending it together. Right now, I've got a code you guys can use until the end of December 2021, and that's Hall YT15. You guys can get 15% off on uh, on your purchase. So use that code, guys. Get 15% off. Also, if you guys haven't already, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the fish once we're all done. I would like to add you guys notice the cool shirt with the uh, channel logo I'm wearing. I'll also be wearing a hoodie later on. We've got some new merch at the Teespring store. The uh, link to the Teespring store will be down in the description. If you guys want to buy some merch, go there, check it out. YouTube and Teespring are having a little bit of an issue syncing up properly, but once they get that sorted out, we'll have a merch shelf below the videos and everything. And, uh, once that kind of gets sorted out as well, I'll be working on some new designs and some custom and fun t-shirts for everybody. So that'll be something cool to look forward to in the future. I also want to add that I will have Amazon links to the same or similar tools. And if you guys purchase through those Amazon links, they help support the channel. So you can always go, you know, I'll try to find some of the burrs I'm using, but they're not always on there. We'll have the Fordham, the ArborTech Mini Carver, the Dust Mask. Uh, a, a lot of stuff is on there, so if you're interested in creating these fish, a lot of the same tools will be there to uh, help you advance your skills and your artistry. So here we're working on the fins. That's what we were just cutting out in the bandsaw. We're kind of working on getting those fins placed in the fish. I did all the fins separate for these fish. And then what we'll do is shape them, as you guys can see here, get everything to fit pretty snug. And then we're going to use a DevCon epoxy. It's a two-part epoxy. It's a really strong hold stuff. We'll mix that up and uh, basically glue them all together, let it set up, and start shaping everything once again. So if you don't know, the tool I keep using here in my hand with a, you know, like what looks like a cord or a shaft, that is... The, uh, I'm drawing a blank crud. Now I'm drawing a blank, guys. That's the Fordham, the Fordham flex shaft. That's a, a carving tool. That thing works really, really well. And I have it paired with my Sabretooth burrs. I run Sabretooth. A lot of people ask what I use. Sabretooth burrs. That's, that's pretty much all I use. So I don't really use anything else. Those are all the burrs being used in the video. And, uh, I like them. I get the job done. Now we do go from using the green coarse to like the yellow fine and then using the white whisper burrs to kind of clean everything up before sanding. Um, you know, you're kind of like going through the grits, but you know, that's, that's just the way I do it. It gets the job done. As you guys can see, just some more shaping, widening of those spots, trying to get fins to uh, fit as, as 
good as possible. And uh, mixing up the epoxy. Now, when I do the epoxy, I add a little bit of sawdust. So any epoxy that does show, you know, kind of blends better than just straight, clear epoxy. At least it's got a little sawdust and that color match, if you will, if you will, really helps with uh, blending and, and shaping and things like that. Now, I do realize this is a high-speed video. This is time-lapse. And uh, I'm sure I'll get the comment of, how am I supposed to learn from a video like this? <laughs> this isn't really a teaching moment. You'd have to just kind of watch and 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 see that a lot of this is, is carve-as-you-go kind of stuff. You know, I'm not able to explain every little detail to every little thing sometimes. Sometimes, if you guys are looking to create new pieces and try new things, you've got to just go for it. Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't my first fish carving this way. These aren't, you know, a first-time thing for me, so they aren't new. But it's one of those projects that has to get done, and so trying to break it down into uh, many, many parts or a series, and I just, just not able to do it at this time for these fish. But you can get the general idea, the gist of it, you know, and it's it's something that I think with practice, a lot of you that are watching that are learning to carve could do it. Fish really aren't that hard, especially if you've ever done any fishing and you've held a fish in your hands. That's kind of how I get my size and my my shape is, you know, I've fished and being able to gauge the size by holding the chunk of wood and shaping and rounding to getting the angles and things like that. That's It's just by feel, I guess, for the most part. And uh, a lot of it is just, uh, you know, just winging it, just going for it. So basically what I'm saying is just do it. If you want to make one, just, just do it. Go for it. You know, the first one probably won't be that great. That's all right. The second one will be better. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. So these fish probably took me uh, yeah, four or five hours each. Um, I know everything's in high speed here, but I think we're looking at about five hours a piece from start to finish. You know, they're, they're a tedious job, but a labor of love, if you will. I mean, you don't spend four or five hours creating fish if you don't like creating fish, you know, so... Just something to keep in mind, kind of put it in perspective as we're watching this thing in high speed. One of the main goals for carving these fish was for them to have a lot of action, you know, like a lot of movement. So having the gills sticking out, eventually we'll be having the fins, you know, sticking out in different angles. Um, looking close to realistic, but obviously not exact. I want, I want them to look like they're swimming, you know, moving, not just these stagnant wooden fish but actual you know live swimming wooden fish if that makes any sense and uh carving fish from walnut honestly walnut's a hard somewhat hardwood but it's it's really not that difficult to carve with power tools and burrs it's really not that bad oak is way worse uh cherry is even more dense i think black walnut carves really really nice and so it's one of my favorites to uh do carvings from when we're power carving at the bench now here we drilled some holes and we're kind of like widening those holes with a burr and shaping fins so we can kind of get those fins in there if you notice with the tail and that upper dorsal fin i think it's called the dorsal fin i don't stick it no guys i don't know the anatomy very well after they were on we had to shape them and we'll have to do the same thing with all these small fins. Now, I do kind of jump around because I get sidetracked very easy, but now we're back to the face. <laughs> if you guys check out that hoodie I've got, it's another new piece of merch on my uh, Teespring account. Like I said earlier, you guys can check out the Teespring store down in the description. It's also where you can find Amazon links. But you guys can go to that Teespring store, see what I have available. Hopefully soon, Teespring and YouTube will get something worked out. 
So I have a merch shelf below every video and a store tab on my main YouTube page where I will have, you know, these shirts and more. I got all kinds of stuff with this logo. So guys, go check it out if you're interested. Uh, obviously, your purchases of merch help support the channel and I greatly do appreciate it. So as we continue to work on these fins and attaching, gluing them in and shaping, I want to take this time to give a big shout out to... Uh, to my members i have channel members who uh you know have signed up and kind of like pay monthly to be members to my channel now there are some perks and some perks i will admit i have fallen behind on and these members are still sticking around hanging with me helping support the work that i do and i greatly greatly appreciate it guys i mean a lot of people think just because you're making videos here on youtube you must be making money and that's not necessarily true. Uh, I really don't make a whole lot of money off videos. I really don't. I mean, I still work a day job at this time. One day, one day, hopefully this will really take off and this can be a real true source of income. But hey, you know, I got a family to support and I got things like that. I've got to got to do, you know, like pay bills and, <laughs> and such things. But who knows? Maybe one day it'll be a, a big thing and... We can, uh, we can make this more of a full-time gig, but for right now, really, I appreciate my members, and I just want to start off by thanking Jennifer Berry, Anna, Fitside59, Abel, Peggy Hicks, Mark Tandy, Eric Leong, Francis Brislane, Keith Gagnon, Colin Smith, Skella Elvis, and David Cole. You guys all rock, you guys and gals. Thank you. Um... You know, some of these people are in, in many different tiers. We have Buy Me a Coffee, You're a Big Fan, New Tutorials tier. And I just, I seriously appreciate your patriotism to the channel, uh, showing your support and helping me out. It really, really does mean a lot to me. And it is humbling that anybody joins and becomes a member. And I, I thank you so, so much. Uh, once things slow down and I get some time, we'll be creating some new tutorials just for that new tutorial tier in the members. That's something I like to do for you guys who are at that tier because, well, I appreciate uh, your your monthly membership. Thank you so much. All right, guys, so all our fins are on. And now it's kind of getting into, like, some final sanding. We'll be doing some flap sanding, and we'll be using the... Uh, Arbor Tech Mini Carver with like a 220 going slow, kind of just shaping and smoothing the fish out. And as you guys can see here, you got a little flap sander. I like to keep those pieces a little large so I can get into all the nooks and crannies, kind of get rid of any fuzz and fur and, you know, clean it up. We gotta get this thing ready for some finish and uh, get these guys looking really sharp so we can get them mounted to the table. Is getting ready to put a little finish on the fish. Don't mind my voice. I've been sick for about a week. This video I'd hoped to have done this project last weekend, but been sick. Just is what it is. You know, it's that time of year to catch a cold and whatnot. So got to do my part and get sick as well. Anyway, we're going to put some Rubio mono coat on all these, uh, well, on both the fish, and then we'll mount them to the table. If you guys are checking out the hoodie I got on, the uh, Cow Hall Woodworker, I've got some gear available through Teespring. Uh, currently, YouTube and Teespring are having some issues with it uh, popping up and doing what it's supposed to do so you can all purchase that. So in order to purchase that, you guys will have to go in the description below the video and look for the Teespring link. That'll take you to my Teespring store, and then you guys can uh, make purchases with the channel logo. I'll be making some more t-shirts here in the future, but I'm trying to wait until YouTube and Teespring kind of get the whole... Uh, thing figured out and get it working a little bit better 
and uh, you know then we'll create some new stuff for everybody but if you're enjoying the video be sure you guys hit and subscribe and giving it a thumbs up I really do appreciate it let's uh, let's get some finish on these fish and uh, get this project wrapped up Hey right, guys, so this is Rubio Mono Coat that I'm brushing on. This is a two-part finish. Uh, it's gorgeous on tabletops, and I decided to use it on the fish. A lot of times I just oil the fish, but I say, you know what, let's try out the Rubio Mono Coat on the fish. Now, I know I will have some beginner chainsaw carvers on here. This is not something for outside. Uh, I will have it linked in the Amazon links, as you see. When you go, if you check it out, it is expensive. So do not apply this to your chainsaw carvings for outside. All right, guys, this is definitely for tabletops and finer pieces. This is not an outdoor finish, okay? <laughs> but it is beautiful. It is some really, really nice finish. All right, guys, so here's the coffee table all done. This is butternut. This is figured maple bow tie inlays. Check out the flame and figure in there, so awesome. Come down to a waterfall, more bow tie inlays. Did a piece of walnut across the seam here, just a thin piece. Got a nice root base attached with a box to kind of just hide the attachment area. Got some nice curly maple all the way around. Got some carved black walnut uh, brown trout underneath here as well, mounted using just some brass rods. This is a really, really cool piece. Can't wait to get it to the customer. Another trout mounted, brown trout. These are the fish we were just working on. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe for me, all right? I really do appreciate it. If you're somebody interested in a piece like this, you guys can go to my website, hallstickfurniture.com. Check out what I have. Reach out. Let me know what you'd like to order. We can always go from there. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.